We all know that addictive feeling of playing a game so interesting and so unique that you just need more like it. These well-made games with those one-of-a-kind mechanics is what I'm talking about. If I asked you how do you play games, you would say with your hands or your feet and I get it. That is how most games are played but not this time. The group Goodbye World produced a game that really forces you into a staring contest since blinking is your only control. The intense story makes up for the lack of flexible controls but trust me, before your eyes is a game you just have to experience. Open world games are a stranger to nobody. We all already know about having freedom to roam but Sometimes freedom isn't that free. Games like San Andreas and God of War do give you space to roam but the story is very linear. In Breath of the Wild, you control the wheel. After starting the game, you can just go fight Calamity Ganon. You can discover new things today even after the game was released 4 years ago which just goes to show you how massive the map is. Once you're given a character, that's it, no take backs, but who decided this? Why do we have to be bound to a character? That's exactly what you're not going to experience in Legion. You're given the ability to recruit new playable characters and they aren't just silent protagonists. They have their own voices and unique skills like advanced healing, unrestricted entry into construction sites and more. Most games allow you to finish them lone wolf style. Other games let you bring a friend or two to take on missions as an option. But this time, multiplayer is your only choice. In this game, you and a friend really have to work together to get any progress. With over 16 hours of playtime, you two are gonna be stuck together so you should probably bring someone you like. You wouldn't be wrong to think this is a kid's game but there's just one little twist that makes you realize maybe I was wrong. I'm gonna be upfront with you. The people here eat the bugs and modify their bodies. If you still don't get it, imagine eating a rat and then growing a tail. A completely unnecessary feature but it does make you appreciate their creativity and how they somehow made this useful to the story.